Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of September. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Uh, typically my readings are love readings, we'll just see whatever comes up. This is for the entire month so if it doesn't resonate in the beginning then watch it in the middle or at the end, okay? Because this, you know, or it, this could have happened already, but typically, you know, you need to give it time. And this may not even be for you, all right? Happy birthday. Ooh. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Release your ex. <laughs> Wonderful. The time has come to clear your energy. That means really, really clear your energy. Stop thinking about it. Well, should I take this one or that one? Ooh. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. This could be the new person, could be the ex, either one. We got to take it, don't you think? Oh, new love! Thank you, Lord! That's what it is. That's funny, I said this could be the new person. There is a new love. But to get to this new love, to get to this past life relationship, you have to release your ex. It it goes just like this. It's just how they came out. Step one. Step two. Step three. Maybe both of them are a past life relationship. That's, that's common, okay? Usually you have past life um, people in your circle. Okay, I'll, you know, it's a big circle of past life people. So. I've had uh, three past life regressions by a master hypnotherapist certified by Brian Weiss. They were absolutely amazing. Amazing. The therapist was certified by him. Anyway, um, we do... We have circles, you know, repeating circles. So some of your friends you may have even been with in a past life. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Wonderful. You may be acting naive or recklessly. This is reckless behavior. Or unable to take a risk. We have to get some more cards to see what that meaning is. There's a loss of direction here. There is. Yikes. Okay, so yeah, you guys are feeling a little unbalanced at this time. At some point in September, things may be stalled. You may be feeling like things are definitely unbalanced, unharmonious. But when you need to release, when you need to make a change, the universe will make it uncomfortable. This is a card of transformation. This is a card of moving forward. Somebody's not doing it. So in order for them to do it, they're going to make it uncomfortable. They're going to cause extreme circumstances that make things unbalanced in your life. Could be dealing with a Taurus, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with an Aries, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Somebody is in a dead-end situation, or they have been, and they're going through some sort of recuperation, perhaps. 
There could be addictions here. Somebody may be trying to mask the pain or their feelings through addictions, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. Closure is needed in some situation. It's time to move on so that towards wish fulfillment, but you may not know what you deserve or you may not want to bring um, disharmony to your life. This could be a divorce. It could be letting go of a commitment, but fear, because there's fear here. Somebody's not replacing the fear. Fear of of divorce or fear of, of commitment, perhaps, whatever that is. Ooh, ooh, somebody has a wandering eye. Somebody doesn't have integrity. Somebody's lost their focus in a commitment. And it's like they're being taken advantage of. Afraid to take a risk. Staying in a situation. Oh, no. Come on now. Holding on. Oh, this is this. Release your ex. Holding on. Dead end. That, I mean, come on now. Dead end situation. Which is causing a lot of disharmony. It's like the universe is trying to get you to evolve and you're fighting it. By still holding on to the ex. Now, when you're holding on to the ex, it could be emotionally, it could be physically, it could be both. It could be, you know, maybe you've released the ex physically, but they're still very uh, prominent on your mind, in your heart, hindering you from moving forward in this new love um, openly. Somebody's still holding on and it's getting old. It's causing disharmony in your life by holding on. There's a lack of discipline, a lack of, of willpower. And it feels like somebody is throwing away a golden opportunity. They're throwing it away. Not allowing this to grow, to manifest. So there's an opportunity for something new to manifest. But it's being hindered by either memories of the ex or holding on to somebody that doesn't serve you, whichever one it is for you. Now, look at this, okay? The Chariot card is a card of transformation, and the Death card is a card of transformation. They're both are cards of transformation. They're both reversed. Somebody needs to allow this, and this is a card of evolvement. This is virtually, this is a card of transformation as well, the Temperance card. They're all, all three of them are reversed. They're all majors. Somebody is resisting a major transformation that would bring them something more fulfilling than they could even imagine. But this damn energy will not be released. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment and abundance and love and happiness if somebody would let go. For real. There's a block. These are these are both blockages. Blocking the transformation. Both of these cards reversed are blockages. Afraid to take a risk when there's an opportunity for something so, so, so much better. Let's get some clarifiers for Virgo. Somebody is afraid of commitment or afraid to get a divorce, afraid what they'll lose financially. Oh. And it's time to let go. It's time to stop resisting. Just let it go. It's not about the money. It's not. It's not about what you once knew either. Somebody is emotionally closed off emotionally unavailable in a one-sided relationship that they don't really want to be in 
but there's some sort of security there. Even though there's no victory and success, there's some sort of security. You know, you may think it's victorious and successful, but if there's no love, then it ain't. So this is, you know, it's time to step out of your pride. Pride, pride. These are both kinds of pride. Step out because it's time for you to be happy. And, and maybe there was a rejection with the Six of Pentacles reversed. There was a rejection. Maybe you were rejected by this ex or you rejected your ex and it's hard, whatever the case is. There's a rejection here that's holding somebody back. But the fact of the matter is, in all reality, the only thing that really matters is your happiness. And I know that people come in and say, oh, no, I have to think about everybody but me. Well, if you think about everybody but you, then I guess you won't be happy. Now, you'll have to live with that consequence, whatever. So, anyhow, this is a card of, you know, the Five of Swords reversed is about no longer wanting to prove yourself. It's giving up on the power struggles. You know what? I just want to be happy. And now you're, you may be beginning to realize at some point in September that there are other opportunities. You may begin to realize the truth. You may decide to start having faith again in September at some point. You know, it's like restoring some faith as you unite with somebody because there's love here. There's not. There's a new love. There's a new love. A new union. And like I said, beginning to realize that there's another opportunity, beginning to realize the truth that this ex situation has ended. It was a dead end. You know, beginning to realize that this new opportunity has a lot of potential. This new opportunity has, is compatible. It's, it's an opportunity for lasting love. So you guys are being given a raw opportunity for new love. Right here. With somebody you have known before. But you have to completely, completely, completely release the X. Clear your energy because you can't bring that energy, the negative energy, into this new relationship. So there is an opportunity for new love here, Virgo. It's a soulmate connection. And you have to not let the fear of the unknown hold you back. It's like you're so scared to go to let that door open. To go through that door. To give your heart. Indecisive. But you may be falling in love whether you like it or not. It's like you're getting caught. You're getting caught in love. You're getting caught at the end of this road and you have to go one way or the other. You have to go one way or the other. Either you go back with your ex and you, or you, you cry over your ex for the rest of your life, whatever the story is, or you move forward without him What's, or her. What's it going to be? Because now you're at this point where you have to make a decision. Twos are decisions. It's a time of birth. Birth of something new. Somebody sees your beauty. Somebody sees your worth. And somebody wants you, Virgo. Somebody thinks that you are very attractive, you're very abundant, and you have a lot of lot to offer. 
But you could, could end up turning away from it. This is turning away from a relationship. Why? Why would you throw that opportunity away? For somebody that lied to you and cheated you. Or you felt, even if they didn't cheat you, you felt robbed in the relationship. Robbed of passion. Robbed of love. Robbed, robbed of something. You were left feeling empty inside. So why would you, why would you not allow this new growth, this new birth, this new beginning to blossom, to grow? There's room for growth here. But you have to turn away from that old relationship. That's what this Ten of Cups reversed is. Turning away from a relationship, the old relationship, to let the new one grow. Because that old one was unrealistic. There was too much dissatisfaction there. Somebody, there was no, there was no growth. In that old relationship. So so why are you even still thinking about it? Reluctant to move on. Staying in the quicksand. But you have these desires and you have this bond that has been presented to you that is undeniable. And you know it. So you have this bond with somebody new that is very magnetic. And you're, you're, you know that it's a very passionate. But you may be closing yourself off from opening up to it lovingly as you should because of the hurts of the past. And I know I'll get some comment below that says, Us Virgos, we don't hold on to the past. You speak for every Virgo. Are you serious? I am Virgo rising. And I know many Virgos. Many. And they sure as hell do hang on to the past. They overanalyze and go back and forth. Either way, you guys are tempted to let this love blossom, to let this love bloom. And there's a lot of sexual attraction here as well. And now, and now it's time for you to take the lead, be the boss. Find that strength and that courage and that discipline. To do what's right for you. To take the lead, to dominate your life. could be dealing with a Capricorn, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we have Taurus, we have Libra, we have every sign here, it doesn't really matter. Things are unbalanced right now because you are needing to release one situation, turn away from one situation and allow this new one to blossom and bloom and grow. This new one has a lot of passion, has a lot of lust has a lot of love and has potential for a wonderful union with that two of cups and the ace of cups. There's a, there, it's like the universe, God, angel, spirits is, is reaching down and they're handing you this, this heart. Here it is. Do you want it? Do you want it? It's yours. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? Take it. Take it. Find the strength to do so, to move on, to let go, to restrain yourself from letting the past hinder you in any way. You're very beautiful. 
You're, you can face your fears. You have the power to master your emotions and fall in love. Somebody thinks you're beautiful. There ain't no doubt about it. With this card and this card, they are like, they can barely con contain themselves. <laughs> you're dealing with somebody that is very, very, very attracted to you. And they want you. They want to start something new. You have to make a complex decision. Do you stay where you're at or do you move forward? That's what this is about. So you have an opportunity for, for love here. A lot of love with that Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. And the birth, and it's just, it's, you know, I feel like it's divinely guided. It is. We're going to get you guys one of these. This is somebody that you've known before. The new love is somebody that you've known before. The, re the past probably is too. definitely a strong attraction between you and this other person. It could, like I said, it could be any sign. We have them all. I'm just going to have to pick one because they, these cards are still kind of new. I think somebody else had this. Capricorn? Capricorn? You may be dealing with a Capricorn. I'm not sure. I think Capricorn. This is Capricorn. I don't know. You have you have all the signs here, but I'm gonna go ahead and read that. First light. Beginning a new cycle. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. <laughs> Gosh, it's perfect. You know, it's funny. You know, this is crazy. Um, I'm, I'm Taurus, Sun, Virgo rising, and Capricorn moon. So I got this card twice. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. Oh my God, it's perfect. The traveler faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle have begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown, yet... The sacred traveler has observed on the extended journey that life goes in a cycle. And you, oh. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so there can be new birth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of the death and rebirth. Remember I was talking about that, the birth. There's a time to end and a time to begin. In your life, it's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. Congratulations. There's an opportunity for love with someone new. And you deserve it. Talk to you later.